Okay, thanks, Daddy. I love you. All right, bye-bye. Hey, Mom, what you doing? Oh, I'm making plans for date night. You're having a date? Does Dad know? <laughs> that's who she's dating. But they're already married. <laughs> Bo, that's how marriage works. They go out for dinner, come home, wrestle on the bed, the mom yells at God. Hey, boys. Hey, honey. I got some good news. No, 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 no. <laughs> My news first. My news first. Okay, tomorrow night, you and I are going on a date. Daddy is taking the boys. I got free tickets with the groceries, followed by a two-for-one pasta dinner at the pasta company, dessert not included. But isn't that great? That sounds perfect. Now throw it all in the crapper, because I got something better. <laughs> Rodney, I spent a lot of time planning this. I got a job doing stand-up on a cruise ship, and me and you are going to Cancun, Mexico! What? Yes! <laughs> and it's free! <gasps> oh, it's not free. It's better than free. It's like a paid vacation. I get $300, and all I gotta do is one set a night. How did you get this job? This comedy buddy of mine, Gary, he does these cruise ships all the time. Look at this brochure. <gasps> oh, it's like a five-star resort on a boat. Six stars, Trina. Comedian Rodney Hamilton will also be there. <laughs> I figure it could be like the honeymoon we never got. Or I could go and it could be like the bachelor party Rodney never got. <laughs> Two spas, four swimming pools, a casino, and a movie theater? Look, there's even a little guy wearing a paper hat who's selling popcorn out of an old-fashioned cart. Oh. And there's 15 different bars? Why did I waste my last vacation on that stupid Grand Canyon? <laughs> Trina... It's like an island paradise, except it's out in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> that is great. All right, I'm going to start planning. Okay, plan quick, because the ship leaves tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah. Well, we can't. I mean, there's too many arrangements to make. Don't worry about it. It'll all work out. Only if I work it out. I mean, Rodney, these things don't just magically happen. Like, who's going to take care of the boys? They'll already be at your dad's. We just won't pick them up. <laughs> well, how about the mail? Well, that's a federal offense, but I'll get it. <laughs> Okay, we'll go. But here's the thing. We need to take that money and pay off our property taxes because they're late. Okay, fine. But we're going to need some fun money for, like, souvenirs and stuff. Can we at least take that $137 you got tucked away in your panty drawer? Well, I was saving that. Hmm. Wait, how do you know about that money? Oh, I was changing oil in the truck one day, and my hands got filthy, and I ran out of rags, and I uh, um, put on some of your panties and washed my hands. <laughs> How much farther? Since here, we're supposed to go until the stairs stop going down, and all the way until the hall stops going back. I think we're there. Wait. What? We didn't have a honeymoon the first time around, so I want to do this right. Okay. Okay. You get the picture. Yeah. This is nice. Bunk beds? Bedwetters on bottom. <laughs> oh, looked a lot bigger in the brochure. It may be small, but look how big my muscle looks in here. <laughs> Maybe I open up the window. It's a little warm. Oh, okay. You must be sailing past a wall right now. Okay, so the room's not perfect. But we're barely going to be in here. We're going to be out doing a million activities. And as an employee of the ship, they're all free. You're right. Okay, I've got the whole three days planned. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get a professional massage. Hell, they're free. Get two. Yeah. After I hit the spa, we'll, uh, we'll pig out at the, uh, buffet. And then, uh, maybe we'll take a nap by the, uh, the pool. <laughs> Honey, you okay? Well, I'm just feeling a little seasick. Should I stay, or you want me to go get you some seasick pills? <laughs> okay, bark once if you want me to stay, or twice if you want me to go get you some seasick. <laughs> Be right back. Oh, there, what? 
Oh, sorry. Roll quarters. Oh. <laughs> Hey, thanks. I, I appreciate you getting me this gig. Oh, no problema. You are going to have a blast, buddy. Hey, what they got you doing for a side job? Side job? What are you talking about? Yeah, well, all those performers have to do a second job. I can't do two jobs. This is supposed to be me and Trina's honeymoon. Well, it's all in the contract. Didn't you read it? That contract was ten pages long. <laughs> yeah, I read it. <laughs> uh, I gotta go. Hey! Play a little bit of blackjack. Yeah, I really can't. Trina's not feeling well. She's down in the room, and things are kind of tight at home right now. Hey, Linda, Linda, chicken dinner. Come on, man, this table's hot. We're right here. Hey, look, two open seats. Uh, Grab yourself a cigar. Come on. All right, I'm not a religious man, but this has got to be a sign. Two empty chairs, a hot table, and a dealer named Jesus. <laughs> Well, that was a fast five minutes. I just lost $137. That was supposed to be our fun money. You think that's bad? I'm down and... Oh, no, I'm up. I can't believe this. Thank God everything on this ship is free. Otherwise, I'd never hear the end of it from Trina. Free? We're employees, dude. Everything you and your wife do on this ship comes out of your pocket. What? You really didn't read that contract. Everything? The, the spa, the movie, the rock wall? Everything. Well, except the casino. That doesn't cost anything. Oh, Gary, what am I gonna do? Well, don't worry. You'll just win it back. With what? I got nothing. Why don't you borrow get your paycheck? We all do it. I can't do that. That's our property tax money. Trina's gonna kill me. Well, maybe Trina will just enjoy three days on a ship with her husband. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I'll just go down, pull her head out of the toilet, and give her the good news. <laughs> There's my girl. How you feeling, honey? Like crap. I threw up so hard, I think some of our wedding cake came out. <laughs> Did you find any medicine? Here you go. Oh, thanks. Boy, with no wind in here, there's really no place for that puke smell to go, is there? <laughs> hey, I'm so sorry. I wanted this trip to be perfect, and I feel like I'm ruining it. I feel so guilty. Oh, honey, there's really no reason for you to feel guilty. You know we always forgive each other for everything, no matter what. <laughs> right? Well, hopefully this medicine will work and I can get that massage and we can spend some time together. Uh, yeah, listen, actually, I got some bad news about that. Apparently, there's a new policy. This all the ship's employees and their spouses now have to pay for some things. What? That's not right. You can't tell somebody that after they're already on the boat. Tell me about it. You should have seen the hell I was raising up there. And get this. I gotta do some stupid side job. You're kidding. Oh, this trip just keeps getting worse and worse. I'm sorry, honey. Well, it's not your fault. I just really had my heart set on that massage. You know what? I'm gonna use some of the fun money. Can you give me my half? I, you can't. I mean, you can't because I put it in the... The ship's safe. The ship's safe? Why? I heard there was a pickpocket on board from the guy sitting next to me at the table. The table? Uh, a regular table. With chairs and an umbrella. Rodney, can you get me my fun money, please? Fine. Fine, but the safe's on the other side of the ship. And 
It may take me a little. <laughs> All right. I got my money for my paycheck. Yeah, let it ride. No, no, no. I just got to win back our fun money. The second I get back my $137, I'm leaving. Okay. The second I get back to where I was five minutes ago, I'm leaving. Oh, man, you almost lost your whole paycheck. You know, your problem is you're betting way too much money on the hands you're losing. Not only have I lost our fun money, I'm not going to be able to pay our property taxes. And that, my friend, is why I live with my parents. <laughs> Gary, you don't understand. I had an agreement with Trina. I got to get that money back. Well, can you wait till I finish my side job? I'd love to see how this all turns out. Oh, hell. Side job? I forgot. Okay, you better hurry. They'll dock your pay. Hey, what have they got you doing, anyway? Popcorn. <laughs> Hot buttered popcorn. Popcorn? Free popcorn? Hello? Hey, honey. Hi. How you feeling? Oh, much better. I'm actually going to have that massage in 20 minutes. Really? <laughs> How much was that? Not much. Just like 60 bucks. You sure it wasn't $42? Rodney, stop fooling around. Uh, hey, 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 you know what would be really hot? How, how about I dress up like a sexy popcorn man and, and I'll come down there and rub on you myself? Rodney! Where's my fun money? They're getting it out of the safe right now. Small bills will be okay. I'll be right down. This is the worst day of my life. Oh, this is nothing. Worst day of my life was the day my camp counselor this made me... This is not a good time, Bear. <laughs> oh, God, let me win one. Oh, two eights, two eights, two eights, two eights. Oh, dealer's showing a five. You gotta split two eights. I know how to play. I just don't know if I want to risk it. Risk it, risk it, chicken biscuit. Shut up, shut up. Something that runs the shut up. <laughs> okay, split them. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Another eight. You gotta split them too, Rodney. I know how to play. I know how to play. I'm out of money. Can you cover me? Yeah, sure, sure. There you go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Oh, good, good, good. Looking good. Good come cards, on. good cards, good cards. Come on, this is it. Come on. Come on, bust, bust. 21! Oh, man, I am glad I got to see that for free. I just lost my whole paycheck. I got nothing. The important thing is, you played that exactly right. I'll tell you what, here's another 20. Call it even. Even? I got on board early and switched rooms with you. <laughs> like you need a king. about popcorn guy massage. Oh, Trina. I feel awful. What's wrong? Are you sick? No, no. Yes. <laughs> yes, I'm very sick. I have a disease. A what? A disease, and I've been hiding it from you all these years. I have a gambling problem, Trina. Rodney, what have you done? What I've done is had a lifelong addiction from the person I care most about. How much did you lose? Does it really matter? How much did you lose? No. What? I lost all of it. $137? Rodney, that was supposed to be our fun money. I lost a little more than that. But the important thing is, is I played it exactly right. Oh. <laughs> How could you have lost more than that? You did not take a cash advance out on the credit cards, did you? Oh, Trina, please. I'm not that irresponsible. I just gambled away my paycheck, that's all. You lost that too? Rodney, we don't have money to gamble. I know, that's why I was trying to get it back. Rodney, we agreed that you were going to use that paycheck to pay off our property taxes. Trina, I have a problem. You do not have a problem. I have a problem. I'm married to an idiot. <laughs> 
This is just like you. You don't think. God, I can't even look at you right now. I'm gonna go get something to eat. Actually, uh... Do not tell me that we don't eat for free. <laughs> Rodney! Did you even read that contract? I have a reading disease, too. Oh. Okay, it just makes my head hurt. This is great. We're gonna starve. We're not gonna starve. I still have 20 bucks left. Give me that. Oh, where are you going? It's time for me to have some fun. Yeah, well, while you're out, why don't you pick up a scent of candle for the bathroom? <laughs> scared the hell out of me. What are you doing here? I am not answering any questions until that is closed. <laughs> I'm having a few friends over. What are you doing here? Well, I came over to get the mail and... <laughs> All right, I'm a grown man covered in potato chips who's avoiding his wife for a couple of days. Well, you're gonna have to get out of here because I'm having a party. Oh, forget it. Look, if Rodney and Trina found out that I knew about it and didn't try to stop it, they'd kill me. I can't let you have a party. Where do you want the keg? Keg? Hey, popcorn man. <laughs> what are you doing up here? Well, I was thinking about jumping, but I ate so much popcorn, I figured I'd just float. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I thought we were going on this five-star vacation, and now I got two jobs and no money. And we're cramped up in this tiny little room. It's like we're still at home. Except at home, we had $137. Honey. I'm so sorry I lost all our money. You're right. I'm impulsive and irresponsible. You're so together. You always plan stuff. From now on, I'm going to be more like you. <laughs> okay? <laughs> I'll just be less like me. Oh, no, you <laughs> won't. And that's okay. Because I think we sort of balance each other out. Hey, just out of curiosity, how long did you figure you could keep up that lie about the gambling addiction? You'd be surprised. I once pretended to be blind for a whole week just to get my mom to buy me a dog. <laughs> How come you're being so nice to me? Well, uh... I'm not gonna like this, Rodney, but... I sort of gambled, too. Oh, Trina, didn't you learn anything from what happened to me? Well, I played a different game. What'd you play? Roulette. You gambled our last $20 away on roulette? That's a sucker's bet! Well, look at these suckers! <laughs> Where, how much is it? I bet it all on red 14, because that is the number of times I've peaked today. <laughs> hey, let's go back to the casino, because if I can turn $20 into 700, imagine what I could do with this. Now, I think we should put while we're ahead. You were incredibly lucky. This had nothing to do with luck. I think I'm actually good at gambling. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> So how many of you are from out of town? You're on a cruise ship! You're all from out of town, you idiots! <laughs> well, these cruise people, they really got it figured out. You know, they, uh, 
They give you this big brochure of how big and fancy your room's supposed to get. Then when you get down to your room, you can't tell whether or not you've been ripped off because there's not enough room to open the brochure. <laughs> Okay, we're done. The place is clean, but it's not too clean. Oh, you know, when you party for three days straight, you still just get the one hangover. <laughs> kind of a good deal. All right, let's get out of here. Yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> hey. We're back. What are you guys doing here? Oh, well, we just uh, wanted to welcome you home. Welcome. <laughs> well, you guys are probably exhausted. Uh, we'll just uh, catch up with you later. Hey, wait. Where's the mail? Oh, yeah. Uh, there you go. <laughs> See ya. That was weird. You think something happened here? Nah. Place is clean, but not too clean. Awesome party, Barry. You too, Charlie. I am so disappointed in Charlie. She's usually better about checking for leftover drunks. Heavenly. <laughs>